Democrats react to the newly released FBI photo showing Trump's floor with documents splayed all over the place. And they're just shocked. They're outraged. They say that what they have seen is atrocious. And guys like this individual here named Andrew Wiseman are just really pleading with Merrick Garland. They're saying, look, he absolutely has to be prosecuted. And if he's not prosecuted, well, America is basically over and there's not much uh, we can do about it. And so we'll start here with him today and listen to what his sort of explanation is for why Trump absolutely must be indicted. Then we'll check in with Klobuchar and the others. And then obviously undermining uh, the in a democratic election is off the charts in terms of seriousness. Uh, yeah. There's nothing more fundamental off the charts. to our democracy than uh, the crimes that are being investigated uh, in the January 6th case. And you're seeing many so-called lower level people being prosecuted in, in Washington, D.C. So the idea that if they could make a case against the leader of that kind of uh, crime that the leader would not would get off seems uh, unfathomable and untenable uh, for the, Merrick Garland to reach that conclusion. Unreasonable, untenable for Merrick Garland to reach that conclusion. What, what happens if Merrick Garland doesn't prosecute him? This guy, he's going to be so upset. I mean, honestly, he's on MSNBC basically every day. He's like, Trump's going to get indicted. He's been saying this, I, I don't know how long, but a long time. People like him have been saying stuff like this, I don't know, six years now. Have you seen the meme of Trump going around where it's like uh, in 2019, they're going to get him. 2020, they're going to get him. 2021, they're going to get him. 2020, they're going to get him. It always goes. It's never ending. All the way back to 2016, 2015, the list goes on and on. Everybody wants him indicted. And I don't know that Merrick Garland has an off ramp. Does he have a choice? He's also hearing this type of stuff from senators. It's not just Andrew Weissman, who's over on MSNBC. Here is Senator Klobuchar, who's going to say, this is atrocious. What I saw uh, from the last two days was absolutely atrocious. We always knew that he had taken these documents home. We knew he had not given them all back. But what I found out this week was that on June 3rd, his lawyer said, that's it. We've given you all the documents. And then the obstruction clearly continued to the point where we now learn that of these 13 boxes, there were over 100 classified that he still had, including documents that were in his desk. These documents, Joe, were in Mar-a-Lago, a place where you rent out croquet sets and badminton nets. Croquet sets and badminton nets, right? You see where this language is going? Very curious because the president was there for four years when he was the actual president, didn't have a big issue at that time. Uh, and golf carts. These are the nation's top secrets that could reveal intelligence sources and put people at risk in the field, patriots who are simply trying to protect the security of our country. Yeah, so absolutely atrocious, right? So it's guys like Weissman, it's MSNBC, it's Amy Klobuchar, it's all sorts of individuals, and they're not getting any pushback at all from the Republicans. I mean, here is Coke. Cocaine Mitch, the turtle, he is the lead Republican, I guess, leader, something or other. And here he is asked again, again about Trump and Mar-a-Lago and what is happening at the DOJ, right? Which is the bigger issue here. It's not even necessarily about Trump and his records. It's what the DOJ is doing. And the leader of the Republicans in the Senate can't be bothered to make a statement about it. Here is Mitch. Chance to, to review or anything from this morning. Uh, DOJ's report or, uh, I don't have any observations about that. I don't have any observations about that. Don't ask me about Trump. What a joke. He's supposed to be representing Republicans in the Senate. We have a lot of issues with the DOJ and the FBI and what they're doing to the prospective nominee. I have no uh, observations on that. Uh, I'd rather talk about floods. Okay. Right. And they wonder why, why Republicans are not looking so hot in some of the more recent polls, right? Because they are running around and fleeing like little children, like little children, Republicans. Here we have Bloomberg now telling us that there may not be any charges coming forward. Many Democrats want Donald Trump indicted, indicted now, indicted hard, indicted fast, but may not happen before those midterm elections. DOJ now saying that they may wait because they've got a 60-day policy to not file indictments against political enemies in the months leading up to an election. Here's Bloomberg reporting. So we did just get some breaking news here. The Department of Justice is likely to wait to pass the midterm elections to reveal any Trump charges. Joining us now is Bloomberg's Josh Wingrove to walk us through a few more of the details. Josh, over to you. 
Yeah, thank you for bearing with our technical uh, uh, adventures here. Uh, yeah, so no problem. Happens to me all the time. You're okay. The, what is traditionally a 60-day clock that they wouldn't announce charges that close to an election. That would be in about uh, September 10th, in and around there, that kind of range. So what our colleague Chris Stone is reporting is that we do not expect charges to come in either uh, the, the documents case that we've been hearing quite a bit about that relates, of course, to whether a confidential and classified top secret documents left the White House in an unauthorized matter, mm. and separately a probe into the, 20, uh, the actions around the January 6th uh, uh, events at the Capitol and what, if anything, Trump and people around him did to encourage that or not intervene to quell it once it started rolling off. And so those two things together, what, we're, what our colleague Chris Stone is reporting is that not, the charges will not come in the 60-day period and they won't come before, which means it won't be until after the elections that we will hear if there are charges or not. That, of course, raises the question that the potential for charges will hang over in part these midterm cycles. So doesn't sound like Christmas is coming for the Democrats anytime soon. They have been waiting around their, uh, well, I don't know what they celebrate, but they have been waiting for this to come. And of course, the DOJ is going to really milk this thing. Look, if you're going to break historical precedent, if you're really going to go after your political opponents, you don't want to wrap this thing up quickly. You want to milk it as long as possible. Really just let it linger out there as best you can and then drop it when it's most effective, probably around the time Trump announces or right after that or whatever, right? They'll they'll use it strategically. They're not just going to hurry it along because that would not be the best use of their political power. And we'll continue to cover that. And I hope you do subscribe and join us as we do as well as dropping a like, my friends, if you're out there in the chat, I'd love a like if you, if you're, if you're there, you know, if you see it, if you're like my thumbs, if you're waiting, if your thumbs feel like they need to move on your phone, just, you know, exercise, hit that like button. That would just be incredible. 